Hey guys, this is Brandon with The Whistling Life. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while and uh, I apologize. I just got lots of things going on and uh, yeah, speaking of lots of things going on, wow. Um, there's some pretty crazy stuff going on. And uh, I'm just bringing you guys along with me. Get off the car. I'll show you guys something funny. So we've had a lot of snow, of course. It's Alaska. Who knew, right? Um, we've had a lot of snow. Hi, boy. And uh, so my spare... Hi, hi, get down. My spare car, parts car here. Uh, it's got a lot of snow in the front of it and right up the top of it. And our stinking dogs, as you can kind of see, they've pushed the snow down. They use this as a ramp and then get up on top of the top of the car to see up and over the fence and they bark at people. It's kind of funny, especially when you come home and they're both sitting on top of the car. So uh, anyway, back at it. Yeah, I'm bringing you along with me to check on the animals. Uh, we're getting some food and water and uh, just keeping them live, alive and well, because it definitely looks like we're gonna be depending on them. No eggs yet. We should be getting here close. It's getting a little bit warmer and it's getting lighter. So we should hopefully start getting eggs. That would be awesome because uh, our reserve is working its way back down you stay out of the garden um so yeah lots of stuff going on and uh you know lots of us are questioning and lots of different things there may be some out there that really don't know what to do so you know one of the questions big questions now is what now so we're gonna kind of go over some plausible answers, um, some definite answers that you, I feel like we all need to know and be aware of. And many of you that are already uh, watching this probably already have done many of these things, but uh, yeah, so what now? Well, if you haven't started doing some preparations until now, uh, I'm gonna give you a couple things that I would definitely start on and not delay. I've probably recorded this video several times by now. I've either dropped the phone, or the dogs knocked the phone out, or I didn't have the um, hands to hold the phone and do uh, the rest of the chores. I've been really um, as neutral as I possibly could be up until now. Actually, lately, I, you know, you've probably noticed some of the videos here and there. I'll drop a video with some, some concerns and some things that I feel like people out there may, may want to consider. With that being said, we're to a point where I feel like these things need to be talked about. And, uh, we, if you have not prepared yet you really need to start preparing now um, we are literally to the point where if you haven't prepared yet you're gonna be it's gonna be too late things a few things that uh, you should probably uh, get now before you can't um, the number one thing I can say right now is get your finances uh, worked out. Pay your debts off. If you can't pay them all off, try and pay as much as you can um, and still be able to put money away. Um, and I wouldn't necessarily put all your eggs in one basket. Um, the, bank, the banks are not super stable right now and they're only going to get worse. And I'm not going to go into deep detail on that just for the interest of time and um, not really something I want to, to 
debate about or anything, it's out there. Uh, look, look things up, do your research. You, if you're not doing research now, you need to be doing research and don't rely on mainstream media. Mainstream media is dead. Um, you need to be looking at alternative media. You need to be uh, cross-referencing things. Alternative media is not even 100% either. You need to be doing your research. You need to know your history. Um, should you be panicking right now? No, I wouldn't say panicking. Um, you need to clear your head. You need to get things in order. You need to get a plan put in. Um, and starting with your finances um, and make sure you have cash you need to have a cash reserve uh, if things take a turn for the worse um, for the little time that cash is gonna be a value you're gonna need it um, speaking of that um, wealth transfer you need to look at things that are gonna hold value um, along with wealth transfer uh, things that, that you can barter with they kind of go hand in hand uh, you need to have things and especially skills that you can barter with because if, if the dollar loses its value you know you're not gonna want to go to the alternative they're gonna push an alternative if you don't know what fed coin is you need to look it up uh, that's the alternative you don't want to go with that we're gonna to have to be looking at things uh, bartering and we're need to go, gonna to need to go back to that. Um, and just consider things that have wealth, things that are gonna be, you know, things that have value, things that are going to have value that are gonna be in high demand. If you can get them, get them and keep them on hand. Um, Next step, stocking up on items. Um, and I'm not gonna give you, I'm not gonna give you, you need to have this item or that item or, or this or that. You need, to con you need to consider the things that you use day in and day out, and you need to make sure that you have an, a, a sufficient amount. Um, whether it be a couple weeks, three months, three years, you need to have a, an amount that's gonna hold you over for a while. Um, and you know things like water canned food medical supplies um, toiletries cleaning supplies these are just you know a handful of items you you might want to consider i would literally sit down and analyze what you use day in and day out and make a list of things that way when you go out grocery shopping the next week or two or whatever um, instead of buying just enough for that time period, you need to make sure you grab, grab an extra or a couple extra. I'm not talking grab the whole, you know, clear out the whole shelf for that. You know, we need to leave some for, for others too. But I would definitely grab uh, a couple extra at least. Um, you know, I, I kind of brushed on it at the beginning, but know your history. Things that are going on right now um, have been going on for decades and even more. Um, they're becoming a little more transparent because we are getting closer and closer to the end game for many. And uh, so you need to know your history, both past and you know recent and you do need to have a basic understanding of workings i know what's super hard it's difficult to try and figure out what's you know what's real what's not um there are there there are sources out there and honestly those sources that aren't that aren't reliable are going to be your mainstream media anything on facebook twitter instagram you, every so often there there are people you can follow that are putting these things out but um, a lot of that stuff's being quickly removed um, and honestly whether you're a conspiracy theory, conspiracy theorist or not um, a lot of these things that 
you know, five years ago were considered conspiracy, they are happening right in front of our eyes. Um, there's some stuff, of course, that is way far out there and is, is considered conspiracy, but a lot of the, the things going on, uh, World Economic uh, Forum, for example, go look it up. That was considered a conspiracy, you know, three years ago. It is not a conspiracy. It is legit. Look it up. See, see who's on the boards, what connections they have to major economical uh, areas in that. Your, your mind's, your mind's going to be blown. Uh, Great Reset. It was considered a conspiracy theory. It is not. As we can see, what's going on to our, our uh, neighbors in the north is in full swing. The economy, the banks, they're unstable. They're that way for a reason. What's going on across the pond from us and everything, there's history there. There are, just like there are here, there are people in the background running things and people, the mainstream media, and that are not talking about it. They're talking about conflicts and current things that, that you are seeing right now. That is important, yes. You need to do your research and see what's going on in the background to get a full understanding and perspective of what's truly going on. Turn off the TV. Quit watching mainstream media. Do your research. Research is not pulling up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and looking things on there. You need to search the web. And you need to have an idea of what is viable and non-viable uh, sources. CNN, Fox News, part of the, you know, they're, they're all part of the mainstream media. Alternative media, cross-reference things. If, if a page or person is offering cross-references and citing their, their stuff, look it up. You know, I could throw out several several names and stuff like that. I'm not going to, and that I want people to do the work and do their their research to form their own ideas and everything. But it is imperative that you know your history, you know the inner workings of what's going on, so that you can have a better idea and broader perspective of what's going on. All of this is not coincidence. This is all precisely planned. And yeah, it's, it feels like and it seems like everything is just going to, to hell in a handbasket. It's supposed to be that way. It's supposed to look that way. It's part of the whole thing. And many, many people are falling into the trap. You need to get educated. I cannot emphasize that enough. And that know your history. And know how to tell, tell truth from, from fiction. You know, I saved the last two, best for last, I guess you could say. Um, if you can't afford to do some of these things a little too late for you, the best thing I can tell you, get your spiritual life in, in order. Um, you know, none of us are perfect, but make sure that you have a um, spiritual connection with, with um, the man upstairs. and. You know, along with that spiritual connection, pray, study the scriptures. You know, these are, are things that are going to be important. Um, you know, along with praying and that, don't just say your prayer and then get up and go off to your day. Say your, after you say your prayer, sit there and listen. Listen to your mind. Listen to your to your body. Listen to your soul. Allow that quiet stillness so that you may be able to receive any direction you know if if you don't get anything else out of this video that is what the the, the biggest thing that i want people to take away refocus your life in god put him back in the middle put him back as the focus speak to him rely on him he's going to be working many many miracles in the days to come he has been working miracles and that many of us just can't see all of them he has been and he will continue and those miracles are going to grow 
as chaotic as it's going to get and it's getting the miracles and blessings are going to get even more uh, amazing so you know stay tuned um, do what you can hold your faith and you know let's try to make things better a light in the world because there's going to be a lot of darkness um, as I've been editing some of the video clips I took earlier um, one I apologize things are kind of choppy um, it's not going to be the best editing that I have done mainly because I'm wanting to just put it out there and get it out hopefully the things I've gone over are of some use and help to you guys um, if any of you are interested in discussing things more in depthly um, or um, interested in my sources um, I am more than willing to share those with you and discuss them uh, I just was a lot of fluff I didn't want a, a huge long video I wanted to try and push this video out, video out if you are very knowledgeable in things in history of things that are going on I'm more than uh, willing to sit down and have discussion I love in-depth discussions like that uh, I tend to always learn a ton and uh, you know if you have sources as well for me to look into I would be gladly accept uh, those sources uh, the more sources that I can get and be able to look into to support things that I'm learning and uh, support my decisions and uh, my viewpoint on things um, you know I don't think any of us have a real great idea of what's uh, going to happen but uh, there's there's some some decent information out there that is definitely leading down several different options that don't look all that great and uh, I know for me Part of my reasoning in wanting to know these things and uh, be educated is, just, is to try and stay at least with it, if not a step ahead of things. Um, I feel like us as uh, men and father, fathers in the family dynamic, uh, one of our um, main goals and, you know, responsibilities is to uh, be one step ahead so that we know how to um, better protect our families and support our families and at least come up with some sort of uh, educated plan to soften the blow if possible and I mean we're not we're gonna miss the mark we're not gonna always be able to to do that but at least be in the know-how so that uh, we can make quicker decisions on our feet if that makes sense to, to better better protect and provide for our families we're going to end the video here uh thanks for your love and support uh i appreciate the comments uh not all the comments everyone sees uh, i get comments outside of youtube and stuff we definitely thank you for the support and we will talk to you guys in the next video like and subscribe if you haven't already See ya.